Hello guys, uh, I'm Mari of So Disorganised and welcome or welcome back to my very cre messy crafty space. Um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. So today I am just here for a catch up, general chit chat, and you know, just um, yeah, what's what's gone on in the week of my sewing or just in the sewing world in general. So let's um, let's kick this off, I suppose, with what I'm wearing today. So I am wearing my um, Friday Pattern Company Adrian blouse with my Helen's Closet Yanta overalls. And I'll show you again. I just think it's such a cute combination. This is actually the second time I've wore this outfit this week. It is a repeater because I wore it um, and then didn't really have the chance to go out anywhere. And we've just been out this morning. So I thought I'm going to I'm going to wear it and give it a bit of airtime. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I'm. It's me, as, as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, it's Me Made May this month and I love Me Made May because um, it just encourages me to try so many different style combinations with my outfits. And this is a pairing that I haven't done before, but one that I am a bit obsessed with and one that I will definitely um, get repeat wear out of as just like a cute matching set. I think they work really well. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I'm wearing, and yeah, let's um let's kick off properly now with new sewing patterns of the week. So I mean, there've been quite a few um releases this week, but I've got three that I picked out that I think are really really cute. Um, and they're kind of you know the ones that I've been inspired to maybe get and try out. But um, I haven't bought any of these, but I know some of them are on my list for when I get time to make them. So I thought, sorry, I've got my iPad here just so I can, <laughs> just so I can use it for notes. I've got notes this time, guys. I'm getting there. I'm getting, I'm slowly starting to get on the organisation train. Gradual steps. Okay, so the Emmy jacket, and I will put pictures up. So um, yeah, the Emmy jacket from Paper Cut Patterns. It's a kind of like boxy type jacket. I think it can be quilted. Um, but there are three length options. There's four different hood and collar options and i just love it for the there's like kind of like a big placket stand um neck collar and the hood and i just think i mean it's not the right time of year now but i think if you make that at the end of the year and we're starting to go into winter that will just be so cozy i i hate when the wind gets down my front down my neck so i think having something like this you can just like, literally just do up and just like, put your hood over would be perfect for those really cold horrible windy days um so yeah i don't i won't i'm not interested in making that pattern at the moment um but i definitely think that come the end of the year when i mean i i, I don't know if paper cut pans are a new zealand pattern or an australian pattern company and they're you know going into their winter now so i don't know if that's why oh yeah they're new zealand okay they're a new zealand pattern company i think they're the same as Australia is and they're going into their summer they're going into their winter now so actually that that does make more sense for that release um but yeah I think that's definitely something I'm going to want to make at the end of the year when we start coming out of summer and it's just so cute I love I love all the details on it I think it's a really nice style so that is one um one sewing pattern that really really spoke to me um from the new releases the next one is sorry looking at my notes again is the sepia Oh, sepia, I think it's sepia pants from uh, Closet Core. Now, this isn't actually part of their pattern range. This is part of their subscription um, subscription service. And I know, I know there was a lot of controversy around um, them, you know, adding a subscription service to their website. And I, I completely understand, you know, why the friction is there, why people are a bit uneasy about it. But for me, I quite like the fact that actually you can just sign up for the month. It's cheaper than purchasing a regular pattern. So for me, I just kind of feel like, well, if I like the pattern of that month, I'm actually saving money than if I um, bought a regular pattern. So I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of the last couple of patterns, but I really, really do love the sepia pants, um, their new pattern. And it's, um, so I'll describe it. It's got like a really nice, curved tapered leg very similar to the style arc um i think it's a bob pants um with the kind of curve or 
um like a kind of scaled back Arthur pant from uh from so liberated so it's, yeah it's not quite as dramatic as those but it's still that kind of bell balloon shape it's got a elasticated pa um paper bag waistband but what i really like about this is that i would say it's more of like a you know pie crust collars um that you get on a lot of blouses like it's like a paper bag but it's a lot more narrow it's not quite as big and that's got like that it's a really subtle paper bag which i actually like i've adjusted some of my trouser patterns before that paper bags just have a really like barely noticeable um ruffle at the top so i just think it is a really nice feature that kind of looks like it's part of the waistband but with a bit of flair so i'm you know i really do like that and and yeah and it's got like these um double pockets which i think are awesome like i don't oops sorry my alarm's going off um yeah i don't quite know how to describe them but it's like a accordion style pocket but there's two pockets in them so basically you get like four front pockets which i think is just such a cool detail so yeah i'm i'm really into this i i'm gonna get the pattern i don't and then um yeah and then see obviously see what's next month but i kind of do it just month to month but i think i'm gonna get that pattern because i will definitely have use for a pair of double pockets and i absolutely love the balloon shape on my legs i do find it quite a flattering silhouette because i'm short i think it does work quite well um so yeah that was that was the other pattern and then the next one so anybody who follows i am patterns um knows that they bring out collections they don't tend to bring out individual patterns they bring out collections and they bought out a new collection called back to the future and i just love the um the marty dress it's a shirt dress and there are two options so you can have like the traditional shirt dress um it's got a tiered ruffle or you can have a sleeveless band collar version and i just think the sleeveless band collar it's got a really nice um flowy hem and you've got like an option for a double collar so there's really um it's quite a versatile pattern and i think yeah it can be sewn into 150 different styles so you get one pattern and it's basically your shirt dress just set for life so they did have a couple other patterns in the collection but those ones didn't speak to me as much they released the Chantel bodysuit but I'm certain I got I've had that before because it was like a collaboration one so I I know I have that pattern from them already so I don't know if they just re-released it and updated it but um but yeah anyway so that is it for patterns that I've been looking at this week so I did actually get some new fabric this week um I've not been trying to buy fabric but one of them well one of them I saw it was a bit of an impulse buy I will show you it's this amazing rib jersey and it's from um hey so sister and i really like anything kind of like those retro colors um stripes it's just right up my street so i got a meter and a half of this and i want to make just a like kind of normal baggy t-shirt but i also want to see if i can make a um like a like a kind of simple bodycon type strapless dress um a bit too for summer because i think that'd be really cute in this but i do i just love the rusts and the blues and the greens together i think it's really nice and yeah i think it will fit really nicely into my wardrobe and the other one i bought because i've actually been looking for this i've been on the hunt for this fabric for about a year now and um i it's this gorgeous seersucker in spots and i didn't i know there was some on rainbow fabrics a while back and I'm every time they they uploaded it a couple of times and every time I kept missing it and I was really gutted because I absolutely love it. I love the seersucker. I love the colours. I think it's a really fun, fun, cute fabric. And then I saw it was on the Pigeon Wishes retail shop. So I snapped up three metres of that. And my plan is to um, make an indigo, like kind of midi length indigo with puff sleeves and just kind of like a nice cute flirty pretty dress um so yeah i want to get that sewn up for summer it would have been really cute to make for valentine's day actually but you know we're past that now moved on i don't even celebrate valentine's day so i mean it really, wouldn't be much point but it would have been cute it would have been cute 
but um yeah so that's my plans for this and i will get this sewn up this year fingers crossed um but yeah hopefully maybe for june or july but yeah so i wasn't i'm not too mad about this because like i said i've been scouring um like google and posting on sewing pages for a while looking for this fabric so i'm so happy i finally got it and it is as gorgeous in real life as i imagined it would be so yeah buzzing i love sea sucker i think it is one of my favorite fabrics the text i just i love texture i mean like you know ribbon and everything i love textured fabrics um so jacquard sea suckers rib knits i think they elevate the fabric so much just from having that little bit of texture in it so yeah I'm very very pleased with that one and i cannot wait to get this sewn so i only those are the two fabrics that i got i have also um got i got i jumped on the sew me sunshine remnant um remnant sale and i picked up a piece of fabric from them but that hasn't turned up yet so i will probably share that in next week's video if it turns up then but that's a really cute fabric and I, i'm excited to show you that but anyway so what have i been sewing this week i've only sewn one thing this week actually I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but you would have seen I had a bit of a mare with wardrobe by me patterns. Um, I just always find I have issues when I tape the PDFs together. And I did put up a poll to see if it was just me, but a few people said they didn't have issues. Some people said they did have issues. Um, basically where the PDF just doesn't match up to the lines and you're trying to tape it um, following the grid lines the um, a4 grid margin lines that are provided and it just doesn't match up and it goes all it, like, if that makes sense so yeah i kind of got frustrated so liam didn't get his shirt this week but i did make freya a little dress in the same fabric and i'll put a picture up because it's so cute i made uh the um fable dress from twig and tail but that's all i've really sewn this week it's been quite a slow one because i've been really ill um, I've had like this really horrible cold that has just been making me feel exhausted and today is one of the first days where I actually feel um, like I, I'm actually on the mend and I'm starting to feel better my voice is coming back my throat's not sore so yeah I haven't really just I just have not had the energy to sew this week but I did make Freya a dress and she looks so cute so I am yeah I'm thrilled with that one and next week we have put Liam's shirt on pause because it is stressing me out and I think I'm gonna have to use a different pattern and I'm gonna get started on my birthday dress oh, oh, so excited so I'm gonna do a proper proper video um you know on all the details and everything like that but I will give you the sneak peek because oh, it's gonna be, I'm, I'm I'm buzzing for this um so yeah I will show you the fabric that I got I mean, look at this. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So I got this from the fabric merchant and it's this um, tool with flowers all over it, which I don't, know, I don't know if I can press them. They're plastic, but they're starting to... I think it's where I've just had it sat on the side. I should have really hung it up. But yeah. Oh, how pretty would this make? Just drape it over like some fancy widow. Oh, darling. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, so, yes, this is going to be a Tilly and the Buttons indigo. But wait, there's more. So, it's going to be a Tilly and the Buttons indigo. It's going to be maxi length with... Feather ruffling down the bottom, so this is gonna go around the hem. Like a little feather boa. And yeah, um so yeah, this will go around the hem just to, you know, make it that little bit extra. And I think I will have enough to do sleeve cuffs. So I'm a bit torn on whether to do a puff sleeve and just make it like extra big old like huge puff. Or whether to do just a kind of three quarter length sleeve with this as a trim. I could maybe make, um, like they've got the um, Indigo's got that option to add like a, a frill, a sleeve frill. So I could add the sleeve frill and then just have this wrapped around it and the hem. Or would that be a bit much? I mean, it's all going to be a bit much, but but you know, would it look better as a puff sleeve? I'm not sure. So I'm going to have that. That's going to be the outside layer. And then I've just got this um, pink cotton jersey, organic cotton jersey. 
and I'm basically just going to make a really simple bra, um, bralette kind of bralette kind of thing, and like some high waisted shorts, um, just to go and like kind of biker style shorts, um, cycling style shorts. So yeah, that is the plan for that. Just really simple base layer with um this whoa this on top this underneath just to hide my modesty is like a bra type thing and then the trim and oh God, it's gonna be so good and somewhere i will show you the shoes that i've got for it i think they might actually be under my sewing desk no they're right next to me i'm on this i am organized right so then i've got these shoes oh I, yeah so imagine me just draped in my finest oh, wearing these shoes oh god it's gonna be so good and um, the only problem is it's in a field and i think it's meant to have been raining and the day's up to it. i've been like obsessively checking the weather forecast but i mean these are chunky enough these are chunky it should be fine there's a bit of ground coverage there so yeah i am oh, i'm so excited for my outfit but I want to get started soon because I don't want to do that thing where it's like the night before and I'm like, oh God, I've only just cut out the pattern. I haven't cut out the fabric or anything. So I'm going to get started in that as soon as possible. And yeah, and I'm so excited to show the um, the finished result. I think that's going to look amazing. So yeah, that is that will probably be all of what happens next week. I um, So my birthday's on the 20th of May. So I've got a couple weeks left. I'm not, you know, I'm not, really strapped for time i've got a little bit of time um but yeah so that's going to pr pretty much probably take up all of next week and then i do still want to get william shirt so william liam shirt zone so if i have time next week i will fit that in but my priority now is my birthday dress and yeah i cannot wait i'm so excited it's gonna look so <laughs> it's gonna look so good i'm so excited sorry i'm like joint child i go absolute ape for my birthday i am i am a big birthday celebrator i have no intention of keeping it quiet and just letting it pass by it's like no it is my birthday everybody's gonna know it's my birthday and we're gonna get crazy <laughs> okay so anyway I, I, could, I could go on like this for a while but that is what has been happening in the world of my sewing um got new fabric saw new patterns looked at my birthday dress plans <laughs> i'm sorry i'm so excited it's like two weeks till my birthday and i think i'm turning 30 so i'm trying to get really excited so i don't you know freak out that i'm turning 30 and yeah but no anyway i think that is everything i don't i don't think anything else has been happening oh so anybody it's a sewing weekend next sewing weekend next weekend so i'm you know i'm buzzing for that um i will still try and get a weekly thread um video done i probably won't get one the next weekend of my birthday unless i can film it before because it's gonna be messy and i will be in no state but um yeah so I lost my train of thought completely. My mind just blanked. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, sewing weekend and next weekend, I will still try and do a weekly thread. But I will see. I will. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting on Zoom and chatting to a lot of you then. And just, oh, I love the sewing weekend. It was such a fun weekend. So if you've got tickets, let me know. It'll be really cool to catch up. And yeah, that is it. Um, thanks for stopping by. Please like and subscribe, or check me out on Instagram or the other um self what's the word i'm thinking of i can't think of the word promotion like yeah all the other self promotory stuff that's the one right anyway yes um bye i hope you've had a lovely week and you have a lovely week next week and thanks for stopping by bye